After right. much weeks of delay. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Badger here from Stax Gaming. You didn't see that? You didn't see that at all? Deck review, we're done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> see you next week. Yeah. So it has been kind of a kind of a long three weeks, but wanted to come at you with the first place deck profile. Ooh! Ooh. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep so, in mind, this is a budget deck. Yeah, this is budget. budget. What's the budget? Uh, the extra and main were built for under a hundred dollars. So this and, whole and when we say actually, you know, when we say under a hundred dollars, it's actually under a hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> I got the idea from a YouTuber and he met, make a capital G where he did a a Dragon Link deck profile that was under a hundred dollars, but the total came out to one twenty. And like, I think we could, I think we could do it. I, I took that as a challenge. And, and we have a screenshot. Right? And I did it. No, but <laughs> we have the screenshot from we do. TCG player when it we was do. all added to the cart. 99.63, I think it was. Boom! <laughs> exactly. Was that with okay. shipping? That was with shipping. Oh, damn! It took me like an hour to combine all of the shipping. <laughs> Just if you see some of his cards that are a little bit shiny, but there's lower rarities of them. Yeah, the, the, the all the pricing was d done with the lower rarities. I have some that are higher rarity, but... This whole deck is able to be built for It's going to look odd. You're going to question stuff. But why are you questioning? You didn't win it. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if there's any odd ratios, I'll explain them. Other than that, uh, just keep in mind that uh, a lot of the cards I had to run two of because, you know, budget reasons. Yeah, so round one, I played against Battling Boxers. Uh, that was a 2-1 there. Uh, round two, I played against Fully Built Invoke Dogmatica. That was a very hardly fought 2-1. Uh, I played against Dinosaurs round three. Uh, that match is actually on our YouTube channel. And then... I don't know what that noise is. That's what an is? Amazon truck. That's an Amazon truck? Yeah! That's... Are you bumping music? Was that the music or no, was that something else? It. No, he's just bumping it. Oh. Third round, I played against Dinosaurs. And then fourth round, I played against Grumpy Cat Eldrick. Oh yeah, you gotta see that video. Yeah, that, that thing said no a lot. I believe that's the title of it, Just Say No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. But I just said yes one more time. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, like I said, um, I'm going to go through the deck. Uh, a lot of the cards you already know, so I won't go into explanation there. If there's an odd ratio here and there, just know it's either for budget or I'll explain the reason why I ended up And if you want to see a more built deck, you can see his 50 card deck. That, uh, one, yes, that was not in budget. Card. That was a straight up uh, triple tactics and everything, right? Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, one, that one's for you you, you, uh, you, you hardcore players right mm -hmm. there. But this is the budget badger. This is the time. This is the championship budget badger. And the $10 from the one chip challenge. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> he's carrying all his trophies with him. <laughs> a lot of memories with this channel. Yeah, a lot of on a separate frame. Separate frame. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, watch it. <laughs> I have the chip. No, I'm <laughs> if you don't know what that one chip is, it's, uh, it's what pain, is it? It's painful. Coded and what? It's painful. <laughs> Four it's, coats uh, of what? It's like Ghost Reaper and Cara, um Yeah, the Ghost Pepper and Carolina Reaper. And, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it's painful. Oh, yeah. All right, All right, but anyways, for the deck profile, we've got three Black Metal and one Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Yeah, this nice. engine just gives you two dragons. That's why you use it. Uh, I placed two Starly Safert. It's two dragons because it gives you access to these two. They're very good. You can actually go a little lower. Oh, I could. And then for our rocket package, we play Perfect. an Absorator Dragon, two copies of Silver Rocket, a Magna Rocket Dragon, a Rocket Recharger, and two Rocket Tracer. I noticed that in some builds, they play three Rocket Tracer and a little bit of Rockets, or they do two Rocket Tracers and a couple more Rockets. I kind of went the two Tracer route. Because one, we play, uh, we lean harder into it. We play two of the field spell and three of the strikers. So rebuilding your board is actually really easy with striker in this. And then there was never really a time where I needed the third tracer. The tracer is searchable by, you know, milling it, uh, searching it out with quick launch, or just you have very good access to it. So I never needed the third one. And then the silver rocket and the magna rocket are kind of nice because we go into unchained abomination later on, and they. Uh, it's able to trigger them, I'm able to rip extra deck, or get rid of a monster that can't be targeted. I really love this engine. And then, we have a Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. It's a free dragon because we play the Dragon Shrines. Uh, two Noctivision Dragon, it's uh, extended Noctis? for you. Yeah, Noctis Dragon. Ooh. <laughs> and then for our hand traps, we play three Effect Veiler, and three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Those no are pretty Ash, much... why no Ash? Uh, that's above budget. Oh. <laughs> I actually only played Star Liege as well because they were, they were like 6 $7 right now, and that 
would push me so above budget. So you played two, right? Only? Yeah, I only played two of those. And then we also play the Omni Dragon Brotar and the Leviathan. These two are just MVPs. The Brotar being able to special summon itself made, you know, shrines a little bit better and just Leviathan. Well, technically, does that got even broken. cheaper, right? With those gold reprints, it did. The so Leviathan actually at the time it was like it was under a hundred barely, but now you're yeah, because this was seven dollars when I was building the deck and uh, oh, it, like well, it went down, yeah, a lot. <laughs> and then. For the spells, we play uh, Monster Reborn, you know, because it's Monster Reborn. Cool. We play Dragon Ravine because we play the Romulus, so we're able to search this. We play the Three Dragon Shrine because we play the Dark Worm, and we're also able to mill the Abza Router with this to add the Rocket Tracer. Uh, we play three copies of Quick Launch because we like rockets, and then we play two of the Boot Sector Launch because it's like it's boots? a really good extender, and having the third striker means you could search for both of them. Ooh. And then we play two Chaos Space and two World Legacy Guard Dragon. I would play three and three, but under budget, or it would be over budget if I. Maybe now this. with that uh, some cards going a little lower, maybe. You maybe, squeeze them in there? maybe indeed. But that's the whole deck. It's forty cards, and then moving on to the extra deck. The cool thing about it is, I'll show you. We play one Dragoonity Knight Romulus. This is actually our only non-dark monster in the extra deck. All the other monsters are dark, so using Tracer's effect early that locks us into dark monsters, really doesn't hurt us too much because all of the other monsters in this extra deck are dark. We play, for our Link 1s, we play 3 Striker Dragon. It's just really good to get back your pieces. Um, we play the Guard Dragons, Elk, B, and Pisty. We play We Witch's Apprentice. This one was very good <laughs> because we are... Um, when she's destroyed, you add back a dark monster from your graveyard to your hand. And then if you make the Borlode Savage Dragon and equip it to her, if she's destroyed that way too, you add something else back. So it's very nice. The Wee Witch. Yeah, the Wee Witch's Apprentice. Uh, I played Beat Cop from the Underworld. It's the same thing as the Link 2 Buster Whelp. It's just your generic uh, Link 2, so that way you're able to still play through things that... You know, uh, say they give you, like, the Nibiru token, you're still able to play with that. Right, so you drop the beat. Yeah, exactly, you drop mm. the beat. And then we play the Quad Boral Dragon and the Delindrous Dragon. It's a very good engine since we're playing more rockets. And then, for our rank 4, we play an Unchained Abomination. Like I said, it pairs well with the other rocket cards because there's some boards that you can make where you end with Unchained Abomination and Silver Rocket Dragon. You can use Abomination's effect to target the Silver Rocket Dragon to destroy it. You can blow up the Silver Rocket Dragon with its own effect and look in your opponent's extra to deck and banish a card. And then Ouch. from there, you're able to special summon out the Rocket Tracer, and now you have a quick effect pop on your opponent's turn, because if you pop something with Tracer, the Abomination's going to pop something of theirs. So it just came in really good. It was really, really good. And then for our Synchros, we played... Oh, show me your favorite. Ooh, There's a reason why there was one on the thumbnail. On that Actually, we play one more rank four. Oh, I forgot about this. MVP of the Pocky Chip Challenge, the Borolo Dragon. <laughs> just uh, just another thing to get over. I would replace this with Boral Sword, though. It's Ooh. just very good. And then finally for our Synchros, uh, my favorite one has to probably be the Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. Oh, yeah. Uh, if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can banish the monster. It doesn't negate the effect, but you banish the monster. And in some cases, that's really huge. And then... Uh, huge. Finest card. <laughs> the finest sink out there. Finest. Huge. And then when it attacks a monster, uh, and it destroys that monster by battle, it's able to attack again, and it gains attack points. So I use this a lot during the tournament. It was very good. And then you have Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, so in case your board's empty, your opponent made a board, you hey, just clear hey, don't, their board. Uh, don't knock it, that's what won. That is true, this is the MVP of that last game. And then of course the Borolode Savage Dragon, since the Rockets can make it very well. And we had just enough budget to where we could squeeze this one in. Thank God for those reprints, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank God for those reprints. But yeah, that is, all of this was under $100 and it felt really good. Uh, there is combos you can do with this deck, and I can demonstrate one of them, which I'll do right now. <laughs> and before uh, anybody asks, just because I know the last, he also recorded his deck before the tournament, like everybody else. Yeah. But just, uh, you know, he got first, so I decided, hey, you know what, let's go for a more quieter venue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that way, too, I can also go through, like, one of the combos just in case, yeah. because... 
we'll say with this deck you can do a good amount of things with two dragons but you won't just have two dragons you'll always have at least three extenders that you could use uh, doing the math there is about a 95 percent chance you do you will open up with at least three ways to get a dragon uh it's very it's like in one in 20 games you'll open up a dead hand but let's say that you so you're gonna show them one combo here right yeah if you guys want more combos you know just let us know maybe you could do a whole combo video maybe because uh, I did notice that in the Mega Capital G video, his deck looked very good, but it's very difficult to kind of show combos in this because, you know, it, most of the combos involve, like, the the Hulk of Fibrax or they involve the, oh, the yeah. Link Cross, so... You want to rebel and not be mainstream? Not run them? Well, <laughs> no, so yeah, you see this deck and it can... Um, it's kind of weird because it doesn't play like the original version. So I'm just going to show you one of the combos. If you open up your worst starter, you want to search this during your usual combos. But let's say if you open this up and no other way to get a dragon, you're still able to end with a decent board. But it's just uh, it's just a little harder to work with. So let's say you uh, let's say you won the lottery and you opened up a brick. Not the kind of lottery I want to win, but it's a lottery. Is that a, is that a first turn brick hand? Really? That is a first turn brick hand. Ooh, those are very useful veilers <laughs> during your turn. Yeah, this is the worst extender we want to open up with because we search this in the middle of the combo. But there's still ways to get around some things, and this is just ways that I figured out. There's probably different ways. So if anybody comes up with a combo with this deck as well, I'd love to see it. But let's get it started. So this is our hand. We're going to start off with the Black Metal Dragon, and then we can link it away for the Striker Dragon. Both of these two are going to trigger. We're going to search for our copy of Boot Sector, and we're going to search for our copy of the Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Then from there, we're going to banish the Striker Dragon, Special Summon the Red Eyes, and then we're going to use the effect to Special Summon out our Black Metal. We're going to link these two for the Romulus, and we're going to use Romulus's effect to get our copy of Dragon Shrine, or no, to Dragon Ravine. We're going to activate the Ravine, and we're going to discard one of our lovely bricks, Ooh. and we're going to send a copy of Abzerator Dragon to the graveyard, adding us a copy of Rocket Tracer. And then from there, we're going to use Boot Sector Launch to bring out our Rocket Tracer. So like I said, this is our only non-dark uh, link, mo this is our only non-dark monster in our extra deck, so using the Tracer's effect doesn't really hurt us here. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Tracer to pop this Boot Sector launch. And we're going to get a copy of the Silver Rocket Dragon. Now from here it looks uh, very similar. We're going to link off the Silver Rocket Dragon for our copy of... Striker Dragon, we're going to link off this Rocket Tracer for our copy of LB. Now, this is where it gets a little bit different. <laughs> this is where we have to uh, do some things since our Black Metal got used immediately. Uh, we're going to use the LP since two Link Monsters point to it, and we're going to Special Summon our Star Liege Seyfert instead. Because from here, we can sacrifice this to add a copy of the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent to our hand. So this is what we have so far. We already used our LP, and we have these two. So when, this, when you discard it, does it have to be a monster, or can you discard any card? Uh, for which one? The, when you had to discard one of these. Oh, when I had to discard it for the Dragon Ravine? Yeah, did it have to be a monster discard, or just any card? It could be any card. So basically, you could just open up that card, and the rest could be whatever the hell? Pretty much. You, oh. can, you can open up just okay. the black metal and four blanks, and you'll still be able to do oh. this combo. Go Proceed, proceed. But that's if you just open up one dragon. If yeah. you, You're not going to open up one dragon. You're oh. always going to open up at least two or three. Well, so Go on. Let's continue. So, with our... We're going to say we're going to banish our Star Liege and special summon out our Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. What we want to do is we're going to use our Striker Dragon's effect. We can destroy itself to get a rocket monster from our graveyard and add it back to our hand. So we're going to destroy it to add a copy of Rocket Tracer back to our hand. 
we special summoned our collapser bit. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to link this off for a copy of Guard Dragon Pisty. Now this is the cool thing. Since I was using this deck, there's a lot of uh, cool interactions I didn't know, but now I do. When it comes to Romulus, if you make a Link monster or a Link dragon in one of the zones it points to, you could special summon a dragon or wing beast from your hand, but you can't use it as Link material. But for us, that's perfect, because we're going to add the white dragon off of the black dragon's effect. And with Romulus, we could special summon out this tracer. So now we have that, and with Pisty, we have a special summon from our graveyard. And we are going to bring back a copy of Silver Rocket Dragon. So now, with this, we're going to link these two into a copy of Delindrous Dragon. And then we're going to link these two into a copy of Quadboral Dragon. And then we're going to banish any dark monster, in this case the black metal is kind of the one we don't really need anymore, get out our copy of White Dragon Wyvern Burster, and then we can synchro for eight for our Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. Now what we're going to do with Quad Boral is we're going to discard a card, so we'll discard this one, and we're going to destroy a Link Monster on board, so it could be either one of these two. I'm just going to destroy the Romulus, and we get back rockets from our graveyard equal to the Link rating, so we're going to get back two rockets from our graveyard, special summon them and then if we special summon a rocket while this is in the graveyard we could special summon this back it gets banished at the end though so now from here you can link these two into your unchained abomination and then with these two you can synchro into your Borlode savage dragon and then from there you're able to equip your link and while this may not seem like much, we have one in we have one interruption in the what form the of a banish what? with our Draco Berserker, and one negate with our Borlode Savage. They also have an Unchained Abomination to deal with, and if we had one more extender, the combo would have been able to give us a Silver Rocket Dragon. And with this, at the end of our turn, we would pop the Silver Rocket, we would banish a card in our opponent's extra deck, right? The end phase, we would still be able to Special Summon a Rocket Tracer, and then from there, we still have three other rockets we're able to special off of this tracer, and it turns into two interruptions via, you know, a pop, a banish, and we have a negate. So that's just with this is just with one with one black metal. That was this with, was our brick with one of, with a brick end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, that's. <laughs> it's kind I of remember when you used to just set a monster in a chopping sink. <laughs> <laughs> not in here, not up in here. But that's not either, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the kind of combos your deck can still go into. And you have a copy of Striker Dragon just in case you need to uh, get Rocket Recharger and you know rebuild some of this board back. Oh, yeah, that that looks like a break end. <laughs> But yeah, this is uh, this is the budget dragon links. I really like this deck because even with a lot of the hits and even with LP hit, I could still see this deck being played. I think well. I'll make this into a double video. I'm gonna include all this in one video and make that another video just in case you just want to watch just the combo. That'd be good. But yeah, Jesus. that that is our brick combo, and this is my dragon link profile. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Field Center. <laughs> <laughs>
four of these and one dragon. So we saw what you could do with one dragon. Yes. And okay. then, and All then right. the combo, like I said, doesn't really change too much. It would just, you would have a silver rocket dragon to be able to rip an extra deck and get a tracer so you have an extra pop. So it's a pretty good combo, and it's something that I used in the tournament pretty well. All right, guys. Uh, any last words? What about if people want you to play again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me at the real championship. <laughs> We are going to be having more tournaments. We did announce them, but I believe right now they're postponed just because, you know, the whole COVID thing. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you, just in case you didn't know from other videos, we are in California. Yeah, right? yeah, and uh, right now they reinstated the, uh, they're reinstating a three-week lockdown. So. Yeah, we already have the curfew, even though the last one didn't end that late. But no, still, really you know. Yeah, just just being careful, you know. Because we're hoping for a bigger turnout this time, so it would be, it yeah. would take a little longer. But next one, I will, I will play. I will be Always going to have will, fun, though. I will be a bounty duelist as well. A oh, bounty so, duelist, so that's amazing. So if you're able to beat me, you get packs Ooh. just for beating me. So you're not even part of the actual tournament, you're just, you're just playing there? Yeah, but I'm not going to hand out those packs either. Oh, I'm gonna damn. Make, I'm going to make people work for it. They want the champ, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll but see you next time. <laughs> thank you all very much. Like I said, like and subscribe. And we'll see you with more budget. comments. We'll talk to you. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be more budget. There's going to be more budget. Yeah. Budget badger. No. <laughs> <laughs>